Hi everyone, we know how much you love your SIK version 4.0. We wanted to expand on our guidebook and share a bunch of projects that go above and beyond what you can do in there. So today I'm sharing with you a project that uses only parts from the SIK version 4.0. In honor of back to school, I've made a locker alarm so that no one can go into your locker without you knowing. If you want to make this project at home, you're going to have to grab a few parts from your SIK version 4.0. First, you'll need your Arduino Uno, a breadboard, and the base plate. You'll also need your jumper wires, a piezo speaker, a photo cell, a momentary push button, one 330 ohm resistor, one 10K ohm resistor, and your AA battery pack. The functionality of the locker alarm is fairly simple. The photo cell is used to detect light. When it's dark, it'll know that the locker is closed. Once the locker is opened, it will receive a ton more light, letting it know that, hey, I've been opened. This will trigger the piezo alarm, which can then be turned off by pressing the secret button. Only the person who owns the locker will know about this secret button. Once the button's been pressed, the alarm will completely stop until the locker's been closed again and the photo cell resets in the dark. Installing your locker alarm is easy as pie. Grab your project, your AA battery pack, and some 3M foam tape, and use it to tape the base plate and the battery pack to the inside of your locker door. It'll be ready to use right away. Challenge yourself even further and make a 3D printed enclosure. Try to design it so that it can amplify the sound of the piezo speaker. Advanced makers may want to challenge themselves beyond the SIK parts. Maybe you can send a wireless notification when the alarm is triggered or disable it via your phone. That's it for the locker alarm. This is such a fun project and you can do it with your SIK version 4.0. And you can also take it so much further if you want to go beyond the SIK. I hope you like this project. Let us know what you think in the comments below.